You are a bride. A beautiful one at that. Your wedding is in June. And your ashwabi is 150,000. And you are only informing your ashwabi ladies about your ashwabi in May. A one month to your wedding. Then you start to get some kind of body language from your Ashebi ladies. And you now start saying things like, eh, why is it that it's now that it is my turn that you people are saying all of this? When it was all of your turn, you would even be speaking for me. When it was your turn, I showed up and I did what I had to do. I paid to the team. I was there for you. I rejoiced with you. Why is it now that it is my turn that you're supposed to reciprocate, you know, my love, you know, and my loyalty and all of that? It is now that you're not bringing up excuses. Okay. Let us answer the question in the room. Right? As to why your Ashwabi ladies may be giving you cold shoulder. Bride, how many times have I called you? This is the second time. <laughs> your wedding was not a shock. Your wedding date. So why do you think like you can just shock your Ashwabi ladies with Ashwabi? You know, to just turn up and just cough out 150k in a few weeks time to your wedding i mean it's only natural that some people would give you some form of body language because the truth of the matter is nobody leaves that amount in their account you know for an ashwabi you know everybody has their money's planned let's be sincere even you the bride you already know what you want you've appropriated the money in your account for certain things right so somebody coming out of the blues to tell you that oh my wedding is in a few weeks time and you're just supposed to just change your plans you know for whatever you have budgeted your money for for my ashwabi it's only natural that you get certain type of body language so as a bride what you want to do is plan ahead right plan ahead carry your shrubby ladies along the sweetest part of this entire thing is that your ladies are the one gingering do you understand because you informed them ahead of time they are aware way before your wedding date that okay there's an ashrebi so bright informing your ladies about your ashrebi ahead of time shouldn't be something you should leave last minute Trust me, and I understand, you know, as a bride, there's a lot of planning, there's a lot of things on your mind. Oh, there is the hall, there is decoration, there's your wedding dress, event planner, a lot, I get it. Now, that is why your best lady is there. You can delegate the ashrebi to her so that you're not caught off guard, so you don't really get that aspect to the background, right? You delegate your ashrebi lady, delegate the task of handling your ashrebi to your ashrebi lady let her be the one to you know do all the running arounds for you handle the ashrebi carry your ashrebi ladies along so that you can use your own time to do other things while your ashrebi ladies are well informed and things are going on well trust me by the time you put the structure in place there's no way your ashrebi ladies will not rally around you support you and be there to you know hype you ah, ah, on your big day now what that does is when you inform your shabby ladies ahead of time number one it means you respect them yes you give me some level of respect to inform me ahead of time you respect them and then you give them time to plan as well you know rather than just shocking them what if at that point in time that you just came abruptly to inform them about your wedding they are not financially capable to handle it right when you give me ample time even me i cannot give you excuse you will tell me what i ah, we had this discussion now you had three months to raise the money where where lies your loyalty where lies your love for me as your sister if you cannot do this for me that way you have you know you have a bargaining power you know because you did what you ought to do so I understand, like I said, that you can get so busy and occupied and carried away and then you really get that aspect. You can always delegate it to your best lady. 
to handle it. And trust me, you have the most amazing, supportive Ashwabi ladies on your team, right? So do this and thank me later. Happy married life.